So ever since I discovered SVG animations work in Microsoft Power BI, I have not been able to stop playing with them. Today, after work, I was able to put together a use case that I thought was pretty great. So let's jump in and let's take a look. So here is a standard Microsoft Power BI table visual with some image URLs as icons in the table. However, you might notice something special about it. You see, these icons right here are flashing an alert. Now, this is using the SVG animation properties. And this is something that I haven't seen in many dashboards before. But it's really cool, and it can add some very clear visual pop to your dashboards. When you looked at that table, I'm sure you didn't even see a table of icons. Instead, you saw the ones that were flashing right at you. It also starts to become a little bit of an accessibility hack. You see, if the icons themselves are moving, you're less dependent on the color of the icon because the movement can kind of step in to take the place of that color. So you might be wondering, how does this work? Well, I have a measure right here that returns a percentage. And then I have just three standard SVG image URLs. The only difference is on this one right here, I've added a style tag with a animation flash in here. And as you can see, it's going the flash. We want it to be 0.5 seconds. We want it to run infinitely. So for as long as the dashboard's open and we want it to go from an opacity of 100% to opacity of 20%. Now, if I wanted to speed up that flash, I could change this to 0.1 and I could change this to zero. And if you notice, they now are flashing a lot more intensely over here. But this functionality right here is something really, really cool. Finally, I'm just using a simple DAX switch function here to say, hey, if the percentage is less than 0.2% uh, or you know, then return the first SVG, so on and so forth all the way through. So this is pretty straightforward. And these S SVG icons are just simply SVG icons that I downloaded from Google's Material UI, which if you haven't seen my video on that, I will link that down in the video description. And so just like that, you've reached the end of this video. This Power BI file that I was showing in the video will be linked on my GitHub down in the video description. And if you like more content like this about free resources, please consider subscribing to the channel and following me on LinkedIn. Thanks for watching.